Hey everyone, Jason and Becky here from Discover Schenectady and today we're at Turf Tavern in the village of Scotia. And the Turf Tavern has been a staple in Scotia for almost 75 years, but we're excited to bring you inside today to see some of the, the new twists, so uh, let's go take a look. Let's do it. So we are here in the bar area with co-owner and chef Tom who's going to tell us a little bit more about the history here of the Turf Tavern. The Turf Tavern has been in Scotia approximately 75 years which we believe it, make it makes it one of the oldest restaurants in Schenectady. Uh, my wife and I purchased it back in 1996 making us being here about 22 years so it's been, it's been a long time and a lot of fun. Great, so it sounds like this place is definitely a staple of the, the neighborhood, and so something that's usually a staple for me at the restaurants is the cocktail. So can you tell us a little bit about the cocktail menu? Sure, uh, our lead bartender, Jeff, comes up with every season a nice signature couple cocktails. Right now he's running something called a Boathouse Punch. Okay. I'm not exactly what's sure in it, <laughs> but people, people really like it. Nice, hopefully I'll find out today what's in it. <laughs> <laughs> So the drinks sound awesome, but I'm really curious about the food. Can you tell us a little bit about your menu here? Sure. Well, because the turf's been here so long, we felt it important to keep some of the staple items from decades ago, so we still have the baked scrod, cheddar cheese dressing, and a couple of the old-time favorites. Mm. But over the years, we've evolved the menu to include fresh salads, flatbed mm. pizzas, spiced up, spiced up some of the entrees to try to keep it fresh and creative. Awesome. Oh, excellent. Now we're super curious about what we're going to be eating today, so can you tell us a little uh, bit about that? Sure. Yeah. So we're going to be featuring a uh, maple bourbon salmon, which we use Riverside mm. Maple Farms maple oh. syrup for, which people love, and also urban crusted pork tenderloin Ooh, wow. with a roasted garlic demi-glace. <laughs> Excellent. That sounds awesome, and I'm officially hungry, so I yeah. think it's time for us to go eat. Yes. Becky, the maple bourbon glazed salmon. Oh, that sounds, oh, smells my. so good. Jason, the urban crusted pork tenderloin. Yep, that's it. <laughs> Enjoy your meals. Thank, Thank you, you so, so much. much. Well, shall we do oh, yeah, our... we got a cheers. Cheers. Got some nice Wolf Hollow Oktoberfest to yeah. pair with my salmon. I love it. Nice. First time you've had that, right? Of course. <laughs> <laughs> This is this is a good citrusy it's drink. Good stuff. Oh my gosh, yeah, it's nice and refreshing, especially as we exit summer and enter fall. I love it. Excited for this, uh, the Riverside Maple glazed salmon. Yes, our favorite. Mm, oh, pretty good. That is fantastic. A little good sweet stuff. and savory. Nice. Yeah. And this gravy start out with it first with the mashed potatoes. It's it's delectable. <laughs> yeah, very tasty. I love a little it. Sweet. I'm gonna try the pork loin too. Salmon can be really tough to cook because the texture, you kinda gotta do it just right. So this is nice, like seared on the outside, perfectly cooked throughout on the mm. inside, nice and flaky, it's really good. I actually feel similarly about the pork in terms of how it's cooked. It's like very well uh, cooked all the way through, nice and warm and filling, and it's really tender. That's what I love about it. That's what I love about pork, but this yeah. is fantastic. Oh my gosh. All right, mm. so Becky, I'm giving you the hummingbird cake. That oh looks amazing. Gosh. Try that. That this is has huge. coconut, pineapple, banana, oh. pecans. Oh my Cream gosh. All of my All favorite things. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought too. That's why I started making it. This one is Oreo oh wow. stuffed chocolate cake. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that's Your eyes were as big as that plate. Yeah. <laughs> What's in this? Just Oreos or? Yeah, that's a chocolate cake recipe that I've gotten from my grandmother. So it's been around for years and then we stuff it with Oreos and chocolate frosting. Oh my gosh, yes. Do you make all your desserts here on site? I make uh, this, I make a cheesecake. You, I try to vary it up, but these are two that we always have because people seem to love these. My mother makes a lime chiffon pie that people love mm. also. She's been making for years. That sounds oh my wonderful. Gosh. Yeah, it's light, airy. Yeah. That's awesome, man. Thank you so much. Yeah. This, this is, is delicious. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we Thanks. go. Oh, yeah. Yep. It did fall over. <laughs> which is all right because it fell right onto the, the whipped cream. <laughs> to the good stuff. Mm hmm. Mm. The icing is actually the best part. Yeah. Yeah. It's um I it's so rich and tasty. 
A huge thank you to Tom and Maria and the whole team here at the Turf Tavern. We had an incredible meal. And our bellies are full, so we'll actually have to see you next time on Schenectady Eats. I can't remember the exact wording of that sign out front, but yeah. it's like about breaking the chain and, yeah. and eat local. So it really is that strong focus on this being a local establishment with local owners.